how to add bleed in Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator. Here we have a file I opened in Adobe Photoshop. It needs to have a bleed added before it can be printed. First off, check the size of your artwork. Go to Image, and then Canvas Size. This sticker is going to be 9.25 by 2.5, but we need an eighth inch bleed on each side, so let's add a quarter inch to the canvas size and make it 9.5 by 2.75. As you can see, we have some empty space. That is where the bleed will go. You need bleed because if your artwork goes off the edge, it needs to extend past the cut line to get everything on there. So here I just take the clone stamp tool and try to extend the art to the edge as best as I can. A quick easy way to fill the empty space without having to use the brush tool is to just make another layer, fill it black or whatever color you need, and send it to the back. Then just flatten it. Now you have a file that has bleed and is ready for printing. Just save it, preferably as a PDF, and you're all set. Now I'll show you how to add a bleed in Adobe Illustrator. Here I have a nice vectorized logo and a template I downloaded off our website. All I need to do is extend the artwork all the way past the cut line so that the black will bleed off the edge. I'll just fill the background with black and scale the artwork so that it fits inside within 1 8 inch margin. Now your file is ready to be sent off. Just save a PDF and you'll be good to go. Now you know how to add bleed in Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to tell a friend about Sticker Giant.